Amazing here. Welcome to my Power BI tutorial right here on this channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to create this HR dashboard in Power BI. You know, bringing in your data from a uh, CSV file down to transforming the data in uh, Power Query and actually analyzing the data, creating a very nice visual just like what we have right here. Everything is just very dynamic. We'll click on a particular visualization. So all the other visual that has linked to this particular visualization, we get filtered. And this is how beautiful it could be. I'm going to show you how to create this from the scratch. So let me take you to the um, file that is generating the, the CSV file. So it, it can be some kind of a little bit scary, but do not worry. What we have right here is that we have every single data we have in one single column. And it's some kind of that, like what the heck is going on right here? Don't get through it because it's very simple to be transformed with a simple uh, making built inside Power BI and even in Excel right here, if you've gone that advanced, so we have Power Query that we can use to transform any data you want transform at all. So I'm going to show you how to do that in a JFE. So right now, what we can do is just for we to go back to a Power BI environment. So we're going to go back to our Power BI environment right here. So here we are in the Power BI environment. So the first thing we're going to do right now, so we have other pages. So we can actually click and actually navigate through that other pages we have right here. Now we have this detail page as well. So we'll click it. We can actually navigate through the page we have right on this. And everything is very dynamic. We'll click on any of the visual. We have other visual to actually, you know, some kind of uh, filter down to that particular visual being clicked. So now, guys, it's very simple. It is to be created. Let us add a new uh, Power BI. Yeah, so I'm going to click on new. So let's just get into a new file. So right now, it depends on the speed of your machine. It's going to take a little while to actually come up. So let us give it some time. All right, guys, here we have it. If this is your first time, when you start up a Power BI, this is what you get. But you might not you might not have all those files right here uh, because I have a lot of you know, works opened and all of that previously before now. That is why you actually see what we have right here right now. So you might see data recent is actually all this and you want to open all the uh, reports and stuff like that. So now I'm just going to close this to show you uh, from the scratch what you can do to get this to, for the purpose of those people coming in from Excel and all of that or from any other analytics software software background so right now let's see what the interface is going to tell us so i'm just going to talk a little about this particular part right here get data so when i click on get data this is what you're going to see you might not be having the same visual as me so i'm going to click right here and actually collapse this and see this is what we have right now so now let's see what is going to happen so give you this particular zoom in so now if i go to get data right here right now i have a lot of way to get my data inside power bi i love that so you can see all this so if you don't have what you really wanted from there you can actually click on more and it's gonna take you down to get a part of it. So it's gonna take a little while to actually come up. Let us see what it is. So now this is what we have right here. We have a lot of way to get data. Those are all the ways. And if you wanna be specific, you can click on file, you can click on database, uh, power platform, Azure, online service and all this. So you can click on this. So if what you really wanna get data from, like, like uh, I think right now they're not that so some kind of getting data from uh from youtube so we have a connector uh, a connector that you can buy online and actually connect to your data on youtube if you're a youtuber and stuff like that so right now i want to get data from text csv i'm gonna actually click on text csv right here and now click on connect so we're gonna connect to the file so right now here is our file on our computer so we have this file right here on our computer that we can actually get our data from so it's actually text csv right here so this is data i want to get to transform and stuff like that so i'm just going to double click it and it's going to take a little while to actually get in right here it's connecting so let us wait if uh let wait for it to connect and get our data right for us okay here is what we are looking for it's actually on a wrong limit right now i can correct it and we have a data transform the way it should be but because i want to show you some steps so i don't want to do that i want to have it on this particular wrong uh the, the, the limit right here because the limit the limiter should also have been some kind of tab limiter so i'm not going to have it on it right now instead i'm going to actually click on transform and i'm going to load this into our power query right Okay, here we are on the Power Query platform. It's a different machine entirely built in both Excel and Power BI to help you transform data the way it should be, no matter how rough the data is. And as you can see, we have 35 column being, you know, some kind of stock inside one single column right here, as you can see it right now. So, but how do we do this? 
it looks some kind of scary like what am i gonna do if it is the first time and you have not been taught how to do this before you might get scared away and don't like i don't want to do this right so now you can either click on transform or you click on home either one you clicked right here you're gonna see our uh, split columns so right now i'm actually on a uh, transform previously now i'm on home and you still see that split column right here so i'm gonna click on the split column and you're gonna have this right here called by the limiter this by the limiter is what we're gonna be using i'm gonna click on by the limiter and see what we have okay now we have this particular one right here so which is gonna be a uh, split column by limiter so i'm gonna go by tab this is exactly what we need to use previously we have it loaded with by what by i think by comma so which is not actually by comma it can't find comma so it's kind of sp uh, split or separated for us so now when i use by tab so i'm gonna leave it right there and let's see how many columns we have right so go to advanced option right here click on it and you're gonna see that we have what uh, we should have um, what the heck is going on. I'm going to actually go on full screen. So we should go right on. We're going to use by column. So when we click on by column, what we're going to have is actually. OK, we're going to click on by column right here. So now we have 35 columns to be loaded inside our part query and split inside. I want to go say by each occurrence. So when we click on by each occurrence right now, it's not giving us how many columns we have number of columns to split into is 35 do not change this else if you change it something else is going to happen so i'm going to leave it this way and what i'm going to do right now is that i'm cool with this make sure you don't change the setting it's actually on columns don't go on rows mistakenly if you click on it like this it's going to actually default to something else and it's not going to work the way it should be so make sure it's on column and don't click out else it's going to actually be some kind of rubbish so i'm going to click on ok right here now let's see what happens so it just happened now you can see the 35 column is actually being right here for us can you see this no extra column being added this is what we have but we're not really some kind of cool with it so what is happening so we don't have the header properly we have column 1.32 1.33 and stuff like that so but we want this ear and roll and stuff like that to be on pawn that particular column like the attrition the age the business travel and daily rate and stuff like that to be our uh, column header how do we do that go back to home right here and when we go back to home we're going to see this particular part right here where it says uh use first row as header can you see that so i'm going to click on that right now and look at what happens so now we have our header right here and the beautiful thing about power bi or power query and stuff like that if you're using power query in excel and power bi is it's almost the same thing so you're going to see this particular part right here where it says apply steps so now the changes you can make right here is that if you have any some kind of mistake or you want to make some amendment and stuff like that you can always come back and click on this particular setting icon and you go back to that particular aspect and make your changes and stuff like that so now you can time travel into what you had done previously and you can actually name this part to actually some kind of like keep it very easy for somebody who's going to inherit your report and stuff like that so going back right to right now we are almost done from here and for now um uh, in, a, in a little while we're gonna come back here to do some other things so right now we don't want to do anything else for now we want to actually make sure we load this into our power bi module so how can we do that so just open this and actually say close and apply so it's going to take a little while to actually uh, be applied right here let us give it some time and see what it is okay we just have it loaded right here as you can see we have the hr analytic data right here so if i open it up right now this is what we're gonna have and if you want to go to from what this is what from this is a report view right here so i'm gonna go to data view so if i click on data view right now what we can see now is the whole data that had been loaded inside this particular machine so now we have all of them all the columns right in here and we can go to the to the relationship view or module view so if i click on it right now we only have one table we can't see any active relationship right now because it is only one table we have we can do a lot right here as well but in my subsequent video i'm going to be showing you step by step uh, it depends on the kind of data we have how to actually utilize every part of power bi so right now we go back right here when i go back to report view i'm going to give you some kind of full screen right now and this is what we have the first thing we're going to do right now is to take care of this particular environment where we are going to create our report so the first thing we're going to do is for we to make sure we change what we take the background the background to what we really want so we don't want the pure white background i'm going to go to background right here here is my background i'm going to click on it so right here we have the background i'm going to change the color of the background to something like this 
but as you can see it's not reflecting right on our background so what is happening so what you need to do is just to make sure you actually uh uh, get the transparency reduced. I'm gonna put it on zero. So now we have the background the way it should be. That is beautiful. So the next thing I'm gonna do right now is just like, okay, now I want some cards right here. How do we get that? So we need to get the card right here. The way to do that is actually go to what? I'm gonna go to insert, just like Excel. So go to insert and actually go to what? Go to shape right here. And when you get to shape, I'm gonna actually get this. And here we go, we have something like this. So we're gonna take care of the size of this right now. I'm gonna move it down a little bit and actually space it. And I'm just gonna make it some kind of smaller. I'm gonna have a card of this size. I'm gonna bring it down. So can you see this right now? This is what it is. This is the card we just got right here. But it's some kind of too curvy. I might really wanna reduce the curve of the card and actually well change the color of the card. So let's see what we can do. I'm gonna actually have to click on it and go to what, go to the field color. And right now I'm gonna give you some kind of pure white, like go for this particular white right here. And when we go back right now, it stands out from the background. And this is what it is. So we are having some outline. So we wanna remove the outline from it. So let's see how we can actually get the outline being removed. So click back on it right here and actually go back and you see outline line you have to turn it off from on to earth all of that so you have this and if we go back right now we don't have the outline any longer but right now i want to have some shadow right on this to make it some kind of stand out so you can see where we have the uh, we'll look at where we have the shadow so we can't see this well because we have some being cut out for us so i'm just gonna actually make sure i have my arrow double click and actually shift it to open for us so now i'm gonna turn on the shadow now if we go back right now we can see we have a shadow right on it and beautifully it's standing it's standing out the way we really wanted it but sometimes well, you might want to play around with the shadow and turn into something different maybe you don't like the kind of shadow you have applied you just have to open right here and play around with all this particular part you have right in here and that is gonna look some kind of very beautiful uh, your work and stuff like that so we don't want to touch anything right here because we are really okay with what we have and the next thing we're going to do right now i'm going to have this closed because i don't need it i always love to actually make sure i close this and i collapse it every single time i want so that i can have a little a lot of space to teach so this is what we have right now so we just want to make sure this is actually this way i'm going to actually have to bring this down some more so we have something like this and the curve is not what we have actually touched so i might not touch the curve right now but i'm going to copy this and control v i'm going to have it pasted right now what i'm going to do is just to make sure i have it kind of a little bit smaller i'm going to draw it down to this end so now let's see how we can actually make this to what we really wanted so the first thing i'm going to change now is the ship so the curve is a little bit some kind of too much i'm going to leave it on some kind of nine and see what i have so on nine we have something like this i'm not too satisfied about the nine we have which is for the curvy pad right for the shape curve and stuff like that so i'm gonna go go back and i'm gonna put it on something like seven and let's see what we have right here so the seven is actually really okay i'm gonna be going down with this and out of that so the next we're gonna be doing right now is to resize our shape to what we really wanted and actually fix it into where we want to have it fixed and and i'm gonna go with something like this let me give it a full screen and we want to have like four of this right here so let's see how we can actually do that now to have it duplicated what you can do ctrl c will help you to copy and ctrl v will paste it for you and you can actually drag it down to this particular end and when you see this particular uh, red um, ruler whatsoever you have it released and you paste again and you drag it down to this end again and make sure it's actually right on it so make sure you have this particular red showed up uh, before you actually do that so i'm just gonna remove and actually get this right here and now i have it so I'm not, I'm not some kind of too satiated with what I have right here. All I'm going to do right now is just to make sure I actually move this a little bit. Like I'm going to move it twice. I'm going to actually get to move this twice again. I'm going to move this twice. I'm going to give that space right uh, here. Now we have something like this being created. I'm going to actually arrange this and actually I'm going to come back to you to see what it is that we can do. Okay, we have gotten this space open and this is what we have. And if I go right on um, zoom in right now, you can see what we have as cards, but we are not some kind of quiet okay with the color of the card. So we might want to change the color of the card. All you just have to do is just to click on it right here and go and change the color of the card right here. So let me just click on this one to change the color of the card here and see what it is that I'm talking about. So now what you can do is go to fill color. And what we need to do is just for we to apply some kind of transparency into this particular part right here. So transparency is going to be some kind of, uh, we're going to add transparency of 29. So I'm going to put 29 right here. 
29 transparency i'm gonna have this so now this is how we want to go by this so this 29 transparency is really okay so what we need to do right now is that once we have gotten this i can actually just click on this and go to this and have it opened so once i open it i'm gonna go to home you can see my format painter right here so we can apply it to every part of it without we having to do the same thing over and over again i'm just gonna have to apply this for this right here and this is what i have so we are almost there the next step is to have this copied again. Once I copy it, I'm going to paste it and actually move it down right here. I'm going to have this paste as well as this. I'm going to have to make, bring it down and here we go. So we have to extend this this way. This is how big you want to actually create this. I think I'm going to be cool with this right now. So the next thing I'm going to do right now, I'm going to have it copied and actually paste it and actually move it all the way down to this particular aspect. And once I have it moved, so I'm just going to actually make sure I make it some kind of smaller just this way. All of that, I can actually make sure we go this way as well. So, so then right now, I'm going to copy this and actually bring it all the way down right here. So I'm going to copy it and bring it all the way down. Okay, if I find my position, I'm just going to bring this down and have it open all of that. So this is what I have. So what, I'm need, what I need to do right now is just to make sure I have those copied. I'm going to have it pasted. So we drag this down right here. So once we have it dragged down, so we can actually create what we want to create from here. I can actually make this a little bit smaller. And uh, some kind of, I think I have to make sure I bring this all the way down here. So we're going to go on shift a little bit. So I'm going to go on my arrow, arrow key and shift it down to that end. I'm going to shift this as well. So you're going to do a lot of work to actually get what you really wanted from here out of that. So you might not have something too perfect from me right now, but don't worry. So once you start to create this yourself, you will see how, you know, how, how swift it is to actually have it created. It's very simple. I'm just going to make this smaller and have this right here. Okay, fine. The next thing I'm going to do right now is just to make sure I copy this and actually have it drop down. And I'm going to create some kind of giant one right in here and all of that to actually get to visualize something. Okay. So you make sure you take it down, all of that. So you have all this right now. So if I actually make sure I actually close every part of it, and this is what cards you really have. So you can just play around to see what it is that you have and make sure it's actually right, you know, centralized the way it should be and all of that. So you will definitely have a very nice visualization. Okay, the next thing we're going to do right now is to add a text that actually tells what the dashboard is all about or what the report is all about. So I'm just going to make sure I actually turn this back on and right you have to be um, insert. So when you are insert, what you're going to see is this particular text box right here. Click right on it. So once you click right, right on the text box, you're going to have this and now you have the opportunity to type in here. I'm going to type in my HR dashboard in here so now for you to have this formatted so what you have to do is just to make sure you highlight it and if you don't highlight it whatever you do is not going to actually have any effect right on it so now you can go right here and change it to what to whatever you know uh font type you, you want to have right on it and actually change this particular font is if uh, type into this particular part here i can make it bold and all of that i can apply color so i want to make sure i have it right on this part of uh, it's kind of you know black color so now once i'm done i can actually resize it to what i really wanted so i can actually leave it this way and go back right here and make sure it's been centralized so have something like this is good so very great so i'm gonna have it down here so i'm gonna have it down here a little bit so i'm gonna have to copy and have it pasted and once i've done that i want to have something else right on this i'm gonna make sure i move it here as well move it a little bit down so we have to change the text we have right in here and uh, it's gonna be some kind of full full inside so the full inside needs to be some kind of formatted the way we wanted it so now some kind of board again and i'm gonna have to reduce this to something like 18 and that is beautiful i'm gonna change this particular part to some kind of no something like this so i um, might be some kind of cool right now not too cool though but guys don't worry you can do this so do it yourself and actually find how beautiful it is you can actually get from this so but it's some kind of looking weird and stuff like that so what we can do right now is just to make sure we click on it and uh, click on make sure we highlight all of them both and we go back to open this particular part here and we see the background we're going to turn off the background and we will go back right here we're going to find something like this beautiful can you see this this is exactly what i'm talking about so we have just created something like this and you can actually go ahead and do a lot of things and get this particular 
path being transformed the way he wanted it. So now if we are cool with this, the next thing we're going to do right now, I'm going to go back right here and go to this particular circle aspect here and add this particular circle right at it. So here we have it. So we can now transform this circle into what we really wanted. So I'm going to go back right here and change the background, the fill color of the circle. I'm going to change it into this particular, this particular color right here. So pick this color. And for the outline, we don't always want any outline for it. We remove the outline and we come back here and actually make sure we hold on our shift key and actually make it some kind of smaller. So keep this shift key held and make it smaller as this. I'm going to move it down to my dashboard area right here. And this is what I'm going to have. I can actually still feel like, let me extend it a little bit. So make sure you always hold on your shift key while doing this else it is going to get some kind of weird like this so hold on shift key you're going to have it done the way it should be okay guys here is what we have so we are about to start to write a logic to actually help us to get what we really want from here so right now it's not that complicated i'm just going to show you what it is that we're actually trying to do i'm going to go back to the full data uh, for this full one we're actually trying to replicate so we want to get a total employee the numbers of the mail and the percentage and all of that and get it visualized the way it should be just like this so going back right here how can we do that so we're going to go back and actually click on this particular aspect to have our data shown so now we have the field shown right here and now i always love to do something all my measures i need to actually crowd them up in one single table so how can we add a new table right now so all we need to do is just to make sure we go back home and once we get back home right now we can now see we find where we have enter data can you see that right here enter data so just click right on it and you're going to see a new table just being popped out so we have something like this. So all we need to do is just to rename this. I'm going to rename this. You're going to be seeing this a lot in almost all my tutorials. I'm going to click on, I'm going to actually type in new measure. New measures, something like this. New measures, I get it right. So after doing that, I'm going to actually have to say load. You don't need to edit anything. So it's going to take a little while to bring itself in right here. Okay, now we have a new measure right in here. So what it does is that we're going to start to write all our logics, uh, our DAX right in here right now. So all you need to do is just right click on it and you're going to see this particular new measure right here. So we insert a new measure. I'm going to show you many ways to do this. So now we have to go back to the top level right here because now new measure is going to be inserted. So let's see that. So we just got a new measure inserted. So all we need to do, how many employees do we have in the organization? Don't forget, it's about HR. So I'm just going to say total. So we just have to click inside here. So I'm going to say total EMP for employees. So I'm going to say equal to. And now to get the total employees that we have one single employee existing in the database is not, doesn't have any duplicate. So all we need to do is to use what we call count rows. So count rows is going to help us to do that. So now what is count row looking for? It's actually looking for table, just like what we have right here, right now. So what is the table? Is HR analytics data so we have it so i'm going to hit on my top key to get it right here i'm going to have it closed and hit enter so now i've just got in my total employee right in here and the next thing i'm going to do right now is just that i need some kind of uh comma separator right and it's so uh, once you click on that you're going to have it so let's see the next logic we're going to create right now i'm going to have it created before i started to some kind of visualize my data so the next thing is going to be some kind of how many male and its percentage how many female and in percentage i'm going to say male so equal to right here so now how do we do this don't forget that we just created a measure and the measure is this measure right here total employee which is total em e m p so now what we need to do right now we need to calculate use the function called calculate right here calculate total so total employee, uh, I'm going to actually have to set this total employee. Okay, we have total. Don't we name it total? Let's go back and look at what we have named it. Okay, it's total employee. So we go back, calculate. Sorry for that, please, guys. We need to look at where we have it. Okay, guys, let us do this again. So I'm going to insert a new measure. So I think it's just a little mistake. So I'm going to insert a new measure right now. So let's see what a measure is all about. So we need to actually get a measure right in here. So we have a new measure. So we just have to say mill. So equal to calculate. 
calculates so what calculate does is that it's going to make us to reuse the measure being created so we want to get the percentage of the calculated column and now before we get the percentage of the calculated column we need to actually get how many male do we have in our organization and how many female do we have in our organization stuff like that so now once we actually do this i'm going to say total so now this is exactly what we are trying to get right in here so i'm gonna actually have to get this right so now i'm gonna put on my comma it's asking me for the field the field is actually the column of the gender in our data right in our data table so i'm just gonna say gender so once i actually click on gender just like this once i, once I type in gender i'm gonna go down and say h analytics data this particular part i'm gonna actually have to say okay now this particular part you have right here from here down to here is actually the name of our table and this is the column existing in that particular table we have just pulled in right now and this is exactly what we need to do i'm gonna say equal to so now we are about to spe be specific you can you can have like items different items of things right in your in a single column and you can filter that one single item you really wanted and it will get it pulled away from the other part of it so so now if I start typing mail, so now what Power BI is thinking is that, oh, you're about to actually get to use another uh, function or so ever. So we don't want Power BI to think about that. So instead, we're going to use this particular double quotation. The same thing that happens in Excel is what is actually happening right here right now. I'm going to type on my mail. And yeah, I have it. So this is exactly what you need to do. So you just have to close this right here. And once you hit enter, it's just going to solve it's uh it's just gonna get itself calculated where it should be and now we have done this the next we're gonna do right now we want to get for female as well you can put a separator should you have it more than a thousand you have a separator on it and stuff like that so what i'm gonna do right now is just to copy this i don't have to reinvent the wheel again and go right here and say new measure so once we add a new measure right now we just paste it and just tweak it a little bit and we'll have our total female now we just have to go right to this particular expert here and just change this to female female and we change this particular title part right here to what to female as well and we are just down from here and once i hit enter right now guess what's going to happen we're going to have this and the next we're going to do right now is just to create the percentage of the grand total of both male and female and we create a very nice visualization so guys we go back right here again add new measure and you have to understand that we have a calculated column that can do this for us, but we cannot use calculated column because when we use that, it's going to make our file to be very heavy. But there are some time we don't have any choice than to use it. So right now, what we can do right now, I'm going to say percentage male. So I want to have a shorter, you know, description, stuff like that. I can now say, okay, now in this particular aspect, what function can I use? We have what we call divide. So this divide is going to look for the nominator, uh, no numerator and the denominator. So what is it the way I want to apply for it? So we always divide a smaller uh, value by the bigger one to get a percentage. I'm going to say male. And once I tap in male, I have the measure I created for male right here. And once I hit my comma, so we go for the, uh, the second one, which is the grand total. So now here we have it. I hope you understand what's going on right here. Please use the comment section to ask any question you really have. I'll really be very much appreciative. So now we hit our comma again. And this is some kind of optional, but sometimes it's very, very important. Should there is any error, it's going to default to whatever you actually tell it to do right here. I'm going to put in my zero right here. What is the alternative? In case there is nothing to divide it with, or maybe some kind of 100% data end is going to be zero right here. And that is why we have this alternative right in here. So once I'm done, I'm going to have to close it. That is all we need to do. Hit enter and you have everything you really wanted. Don't worry. And the visualization, you will find it some kind of like, wow, this is what he was creating. So now I can actually copy this away from here. Just copy because I don't want to do this twice again. So now make sure you click on this percentage sign right here to have it on it. And I want to have it on the zero decimal. And we just have to turn this to zero. And that is all you need to do. So we convert into a zero decimal. So here we go. So now we need to add a new measure again. And once we have entered a new measure, the next we're going to be creating now is the female gender. So we just change a little part of it. So we turn, we turn this into a female. So for female percentage, we just change it to what? 
just highlight this particular aspect when you, once you click on earth it's gonna go right on it and you hit enter you have this so we are almost ready for our visualization nicely so what we need to do right now is just to make sure we go into percentage and after we might have done this the next thing is just to make sure we remove the extra decimal from it because we don't want any decimal point right on it so we are done from here right now so let me give you a full screen to see what is going on and now here we go if i close this right now this is where i have all my measure right on so i'm gonna go right here on this particular column aspect i'm gonna have it removed i don't want it we're gonna have to remove this from here so i'm gonna go quickly on the lid from module and we're gonna have it off because we don't have the need of this so we have to remove it away from here so now we have all our measures right here so whatever you want to do you can track your measure please if you've not used this particular techniques before just go ahead and use it and if you're new right here this is what you should be using it will be very easy for you to find any measure you want to use so right now we can now go and click on this particular total employee right here and it's going to default to uh, some kind of a uh, graph we don't want that so we want a card so we're going to look for a card so we're going to pick in pick this card right here so it gives us the total employee we have right in the organization but i'm going to tell you for real that you know i always love to format to my test so i'm going to go right on the formatting right now so let us see how we can format this go on this particular painter or uh, format or uh, roller whatsoever and go on the what go on the label so once you click on the label we have it on the black color so you want to change it to this particular type of color right here because this is the lady the lead color of our dashboard and once we've done that we can come down a little bit you see this particular one right here so you want to crank up the what crank up the size of the text uh, of the figure right on it so now we have to display uh what again okay i'm gonna have to bring this down and we are the font family needs to be changed and what i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna actually have to go to the top level right here and use this particular area black so we have something like this being popped out and this is what we really wanted so after we might have done with that i can actually zoom back to the top level and have this particular label being closed and now for the category this is the total employee i want that for now i'm just gonna turn it off and i'm gonna turn off my turn on my what my title i'm gonna, I'm gonna put title on it so let's see what the title is going to be like. So if I go right here right now, look at the top level right here, we have nothing on it. So we're going to go on title and now we're going to actually have to customize our title. So it's going to be total employees, total employees. So right, total employees, you can pick on that. Oh, I think we have it twice been on it. So now we have a total employee right here. So we need to some kind of go ahead and centralize it. I'm going to go down, I'm going to centralize it. So I'm going to have to change the color to something different. Like I'm going to go with this particular kind of color. So we have something like this and I'm going to actually have to go and crank up the font a little bit. So I think something like this will be very cool. Okay, we are almost done from here. So now this is what we have. So we can make it some kind of smaller just like this. So once we actually make it smaller like, like this, what we need to do right now is just to make sure we have this closed because when I remove the background away from here, I'm gonna take it down to the top level right here and I'm gonna go ahead and close this. Now we'll look for where we have the background and we're gonna have to turn the background off. But before then, I'm gonna actually have to take it to where I wanna have it. So this is where it belongs. So it sits tightly right in here. And after that, I, I go ahead and actually go to the background level here and go and turn off the background so we don't want any background for it so i'm going to turn it off so now here we go we have it fitting into the uh into the part of our dashboard just like this so we are almost right there so it might look some kind of simple but not too much if you're new right here it's going to take a lot of time to actually get it done so the next thing we're going to be doing right now is just that we want to actually uh i'm going to actually have to do this once and for all Ctrl v we have it pasted right here and I'm going to have to bring in my total mill. So I'm going to go for mill. So I'm going to have the previous formatting right here. I have to go right here and go to what? Go to my data label. And I just have to make sure I have this in some kind of maybe like 20. Let's see what we have on 20. 20 is too little. I'm going to have this on 40. And let's see what we have on 40. Okay, 40 is going to be some kind of, okay, we're going to use some type. So you can actually guess what it is that you have to use to make sure you get what you really wanted. So I'm going to use that 8. And once I've done using that 8, I'm going to actually have to make sure I bring it some kind of, you know, down like this. So what I wanted to do right now, I'm going to have this close. I'm going to go to my title and I'm going to make sure I give it a very nice title. Who is going to be some kind of uh, mail, just like this. Mail, we have to use mail and we make it smaller. And I'm going to have to copy this down. And Ctrl V will help me get this down as well. 
So he's not copied yet. Control C, Control V. We just go down, right? So we have to deselect this and bring in our words, bring in the percentage of our mail. And once we have this right here, what we need to do right now is just to go back to what? Go back to this particular aspect right here. I'm going to put this on 10, oh, sorry, on 20. So we have it on 20 and we change this particular color to something like this. So we have a black color like this and uh, we just have to go back to the title expert here. So where's the title? We have to turn off the title because we don't want the title for it already. We have a title that actually guides us about what it is. So now we can make it some kind of smaller and make sure it's sitting right in the middle of it just like this. So we have something like this. All we need to do is just to make sure we hold on our control, control C and control V to copy. And we just have to move this gently down to this particular aspect right here uh, to create our female gender. And that is all we need to do. So after we have done this, we just have to click right inside here and change it to all the female. Okay, nicely formatted just like this. So now the next we're going to be doing now is that we need some images right here. So how can we get those images right in here? So all we just have to do is just to like go right here and bring some icons, go to insert and from inside you can see this particular image. And once you've done that, just navigate through your computer where you have the images right in. So I'm just going to go on this particular part right here. I'm going to scroll all the way down because I know the specific place I have my image. So I'm going to be giving you those images to be used and all of that. So now I can actually make this smaller to fit into where I really want it to actually sit, right? So I'm just gonna take it down here and give it some kind of a little trick. I think it's come some kind of cool with what I have right here now. I'm gonna let it be like this. So I'm gonna add a second part of the image for the female gender. I'm gonna go all the way down. I'm gonna pick this. I'm gonna have to resize this as well. So just quickly resize this to what it is that you can actually get used there. Um, take it down to this particular aspect. So if you actually have it seated right in here, so you have your image that actually talks about both the gender, both genders. So make sure it sits and actually align right the way it should be. So you might not get it. I might not get it perfectly right now, but once you're doing this on yourself or your own, so you just have to make sure you do the right thing. So click on this and actually get to see where it is. So here we have it. So we need to have a separator right here. I'm going to have my comma separator right on it. And here we go. So almost there. Okay, guys, we have it. So we have a Tizen separator right on it. So which is very, very important for you to actually have it because it's on, it's on Tizen. And we have something like this. We can see the percentage of our male and our female and our organization and stuff like that. So let's see the next level we can actually create because this is getting much more interesting. So if we come right here right now, you see not due for promotion and default promotion, both the values and the percentages. So how do we do this? But if we go back to like, I'm gonna click, go right here. I'm gonna actually make sure I drop this down to understand what it is that I'm doing. Go to transform and click on transform right here. And we're gonna go for the promotion column right here. That is years since last promoted. You are going to see what we have right in there. So, um, okay, I think here is now what I'm, what I want to show you, I'm going to have to close this and go to the main data that we're actually using for this right now. So I'm going to go right here and here we go. We're going to click on this transform right here. I'm going to actually take you to the year column. We, that is years slash promoted. And uh, we, once we actually hit that. So the column on highlight is actually the year since some of the employee got some kind of promotion in the organization despite it, some of those particular employees have been working for over 30 years. So now if I click right here right now, what you can see is actually the going to actually load more to see if we have more of it. So we have people who had never been promoted for over 15 years, 14, 13, 12, 11 and stuff like that. But now what the manager, uh, what the HR management is actually looking for right now is that whoever had not been promoted since the last 10 years to 15 years should get promotion. So, and they want to know who are those people in the organization because they can't really think about it, but they have the data that back them up. So how can you help them with this analysis right now? So I'm going to click on OK right here or cancel it. And now what we need to do right now is for you to actually add what we call a conditional column right on this. So now I'm going to go to what? I'm going to go to like add column. So from add column, we have conditional column. I'm going to add this conditional column right here. So now the conditional column is coming up in a while. So now we have a conditional column right here. So what you can see now is that this is some kind of a little bit confusing, right? But don't worry. So the column name, so the new column we're about to create because we want to add a new column using a particular promotional or yes, it's like promoted column. So I'm going to type in promotion, promotion status right here. 
so permission status so right here the column i want to actually get some kind of to condition is what i need to actually search for right here so all we need to do is just to scroll all the way down and you will definitely see uh, what we are looking for okay i think this is it year since last promotion so you click on it and we have that year so anything that is actually is greater than or equal to is what we're going to use the operator type we're going to use is this so we're going to be using many of those operators as we keep creating so just keep watching now 10 years 10 11 12 13 14 to 15 that is we have maximum of 15 right so it's going to be some kind of needing promotion so we're going to say deal for promotion oh sorry yeah. promotion yeah deal for promotion and any other number that is left so not do is what we want to use for it so we just retest two things two options <laughs> okay fine we are done with this that is exactly what we need to do i'm going to show you how to add more clothes in uh in, in the subsequent part of this dashboard so what we need to do right now we need to just say okay right here click on okay and we have all that being created for us can you see that all that being created for us so if you want to verify if this if this is really okay no matter how good you think you are, sometimes you need some kind of verification, right? So let us see. Um, I'm gonna click on select right here. I'm gonna click on. Uh, I'm gonna click on deal for promotion. I'm gonna click on OK. So now, if you have every person that are deal for promotion is between age 10 to 15, I can see right here. If I click here. What you always see is from 10 to 15, that is exactly how we had conditioned it. So I can actually go ahead and cancel this right now because this is what we really wanted and is actually uh, is done for us. So now if I weigh you, because I don't want to have a very huge file size, I can go ahead and remove this right now because already we use, we've used this column. If we have new data coming in, you don't have to worry about it. Power Query is going to take care of that for you. That's part of you have this column turned off. So I'm going to go ahead and click on delete on my computer. I'll have that go away so now we just have to load this and actually get a quick uh visualization right now so i'm gonna close uh, close and apply it's gonna take a little while to actually get itself applied right in here so i told you it depends on the speed of your computer but now we're gonna have it okay i think we just have the column right in here right now but we can't see it yet but if we go in right on this particular aspect or we can make a search to some kind of promotion status we have it so here we go we have it right here deal and not deal and stuff like that but this is not what we really wanted so i can actually get it off so the same thing we had done previously is what we're going to do right now i'm just going to clear the promotion status away from here i don't need it so i'm going to have it some kind of uh i'm going to have it closed so for now we just have to actually start to create our logic in right here and uh I'm just going to show you this for the last time. I'm going to have that logic created behind the scene because we're going to be using some kind of sim techniques over and over again to get this created and get it visualized. So we just have to right click on it and actually add new. So in case in the previous one, you did not pay attention. I think right now it is time to pay attention to what we are doing right now. So I'm going to actually zoom in to let you see what I'm about to do. And uh, what I'm going to do right now is just going to be some kind of um, deal for promotion for promotion so how many persons are due for promotion and the percentage how many person are not due for promotion and its percentage is what i'm looking for right now so for due for promotion now what we need to do is to just say okay calculate use the calculate function and once we use the calculate function what is going to be the next is the total employee So we use the total employee column that we've just created. That was the measure. This is the measure we have right here. So now once we use this, I'm gonna put in my comma. So I wanna bring in the column. The new column we just got created in Power Query is what we're gonna actually move it right here. So I'm just gonna say promotion. So once I actually click on promotion, so we have that particular promotion status right in here. So we're gonna to have to bring this right here. And what column, what particular part of this particular uh, promotion status are we looking for? Um, I'm gonna have in here my double quotation, uh, due for promotion. So I'm gonna say, due for promotion so mind you if you don't have the spelling correctly you would have to check very well because if you don't have it correctly it's not gonna work so i'm gonna hit enter right here and that's exactly what we need to do and the next we have we have to do again now is i'm gonna actually have to copy this away from here because i don't want to create this over and over again so once i have it copied so what i'm gonna do is just to make sure i create a new measure 
So we're going to have it copy it. Copy it. So go ahead and create a new measure. And once you've just created a new measure, you just have to paste it right, uh, paste, paste it in right here and actually track it a little bit. So now we just have to say not due for promotion. For promotion. So not due is exactly what we're going to have. And here we're going to have to use the particular part of not due. Not, not due. So now we have to bring all this in right here. So let's see what let's see what's gonna happen. So we cannot go and check it out and see what we've just created if they are right. So we just have to check it out and see. So we just have created not due. I'm gonna click on not due right now and see what it is. So if it is working, we're gonna have it on card and see on this particular card. So we have it on our card right here, and we just have this. So what we're gonna do right now is to create a percentage. Uh, that is actually going to be peculiar to that. So what we need to do is just to add a new measure. And I told you we had done this before and I'm showing you again. And I'm going to actually, I'm not going to show you again to create the other pad, but I'm going to show you how to visualize all of them. So we just have to say zoom and actually go and like, okay, now for this not due, not due. So to create its percentage right now, I'm going to say uh, divide. So divide not due. So divide not due by what? By total total employee. And the alternative is gonna be zero. I'm gonna actually have to put my comma. And now we have our percentage right on it. So can you get this right now? Okay, I think we already have not due right here before, formula before now. And what I'm gonna have right now, I'm having some kind of trouble to get this back right on it. So all I need to do is just to make sure I differentiate it with percentage, right? Just so that we don't have the same thing over and over again. So if I now hit enter, it's going to be some kind of accepted. And after we might have gotten this, uh, some kind of, you know, uh, right on our on, on measure table, we're going to have to put it on percentage. And um, we just want to leave it on one decimal point right now. We are cool with one decimal point and that is all we need to do. And the next thing we're going to do right now is just to make sure we copy this and we don't have to reinvent the wheel again. As I always say on my tutorial, so I love being lazy around. So go ahead and click a new measure and paste this right in here and create uh, for deal for promotion. That is what we need to create for right now. We're going to have to paste this right here. Uh, it's going to be percentage of what? Percentage of... Uh, Deal for promotion. So deal for promotion. So right here, we just have to come right in here and just type in deal. So we'll go for deal for promotion. When I hit enter, you can see how fast it is to actually get it done. All you need to do for the first time is for you to understand the function you're using and how to use them appropriately. That is all you have to do. So I'm gonna click on my percentage right here. And uh, don't forget about one decimal point, just have to do that. And now we are set to get to visualize our data the way it should look like all of that. So now we just have to give it some kind of little formatting. I know that. All right, we've just gotten this part done. So it's nothing, uh, it's not nothing, it's nothing much. So you can do it. I'm just going to have to replicate and actually duplicate this. Uh, I'll bring this down right here. So, and after bringing it down, what we need to do right now, I'm going to have to change what we have right here and actually, you know, apply some kind of formatting and you'll see what it is. So, deal here is going to be not deal. And right here, we're going to have some kind of uh, not deal for what? For percentage of not deal is what we need to look for right now. I have it right there. So, I'm going to have the percentage right in here. So, uh, we can have the percentage and we have this particular one being removed. So, I'm going to remove it. So, not deal percentage is going to be this. You can see that it's on 95.1%. That was why it was some kind of high. So, what it means uh, for this, for this kind of, uh, for this one right now, we need to have a separator right on it. So, we just have to click on this deal and go right here and add a separator right on it for we to have it on some kind of tile on separator and stuff like that. Okay, nicely. Once we have done this, this is the next level we're going to go into right now. So we have to visit our power query again to actually get something transformed and create what we have right here. But before then, we don't want to have something like this because we don't have anything that separates them to show that this is what this one is for and all of that. So I'm just going to go back to insert and from insert, we're going to go back to what to shape and from shape, we want to take this particular line right here and we have the line in here. So I'm going to bring the line down. So something like this. So I'm gonna have to like make sure I move the line right in between this particular aspect here. And once I've done this, what I'm gonna do right now is just to go to my line outline color and choose the color and go for it. And I'm gonna go for this particular type of white color. Doesn't look that white. Okay, I think I have a separator right now. Just have it. Just get it. I love this, right? So now the next thing I'm gonna do now is this. 
So we want to create a service here right here. So how do we create the service here is for we to go back to home and from home, we have to choose on transform data and we are back here. Every most of those particular part of a dashboard of our data that we had been given is some kind of numbers and it looks weird when we want to have some kind of visualizer. So we we'll have to scroll down till we have the service here right here and all of that. Okay, here we have this particular uh, year at company, which is our service year, which is the how many years has our particular uh, employee been in our organization and stuff like that. So right now, we are going to be doing something very different. So what we need to do right now is this. So we are going to be doing something different from what we had done before now. So we just have to go to what? Go to add column. And you, you can go, you're you going to see this particular column from example. So you just have to say uh, from selection. So once you have done that, you're going to have this. So we have this empty one right here. Uh, I'm going to type out a heading. I'm going to type service year, service year right here. And I'm going to come right here. We have it, we have them on numbers. So what are we going to do to actually have it do where it should be, uh, the way we really like. So now this is what we're going to do. Uh, year at service. The, the one we have on highlight is what we want to use. So make sure you click on it. So this is the one we have on highlight. So right now I'm going to click on six right here. And once I've done that, I'm going to type in ear, ears, six ear, six ears. And uh, that is exactly what we need to do. If I hit enter right now, what you're going to see that we have all of them right here. So now we have all of, all of them transformed for us. So we can click on OK. That is what it is. We have it. We have it. That is the next one. So we have it. So now we just have everything we really wanted. And I've told you, once you are done with what you want to do, you can go ahead and truncate that particular part of the column. That is all you need to do. And the next thing we're going to do right now is the level, job level. So we have to locate where we have our, our job level right in here and actually add to transform. We have to transform that as well to get it used and stuff like that. Same thing again, we have our job level right here and we only have numbers right in here. And to visualize this, it's some kind of going to look some kind of weird. And the same thing we had done before is what we're going to do again. So add column, we're going to say from uh, from example. And if you want to go on all and you selected some parts, some particular columns and all of that. So I'm going to show you how to use this in subsequent videos. So I'm just going to go right here and we just need to add some kind of levels right in here. I'm going to say job level, job job levels so go in here i'm gonna say level so type in level here so and what it is check this column is two and hit enter just say okay that is all we are almost done from here for now so all we need to do right now is just to make sure we go to home and close and apply just say close and apply it's going to take a little while to actually apply itself right in here so we've gotten our service here right here. So what I need to do is just to make a search and all that. So we have our service here. I'm just going to click on it. So we have our service here right here for us. So here's our service here. And what we're going to be visualizing the service here, which is just going to be some kind of, um, I'm going to zoom into this aspect here. So I'm going to go by where it's service here. And we're going to look for total. So total employee. So we bring total employee right here. So we have them right in here. So the next thing is going to be some kind of chart. So we need to use it on a chart. So we go for this chart part right here. And we have this chart to be used. And once we've just gotten this, we're just going to make it some kind of a little bit smaller. I'm going to make sure it sits right in here for us. So I'm just going to make it to actually sit with itself right here very much. So go to actually extend it this way. And um, I think that we're cool. So we want to have to remove this particular service year and the total employee from here and all of that. So we don't, we don't need the Y and X axis right on it. So what can we do to have that done? So we have to go back and go to this particular uh, format right here for the Y axis right here. So we just have to go scroll all the way down and turn off the title. So we've just gotten the title being turned off. So we just have to go and close it back again before we go for the X. So we're going to go for the X axis right as well. So we just have to scroll all the way down. So we scroll down and have it turned off. So when I want to turn this off, that is how it's been turned off. So we scroll all the way down. I think we just have to verify if all of them are off. So I think we have all of them been turned off right now. And the next thing we're going to do right now is to change the color of what? We're going to change the color of the, um, of the chat itself. So we go to data color. And uh, once we have 
landed on data color you just have to click on this and what do we want to use for the data color right here so i this is our leading color right here so we just want to use this particular one for the data color i think we are going to be cool with this so uh, if you want to add some kind of um, data label right in it so you have to always close whatever you have opened close it so data label is right here so you just want to turn it down uh, turn it down so we have something like this and all of that so let us check well and see the next thing we have right here so you can see we have position so we want to go on position where do we want to have it so you want to have it in the middle inside there is it's going to be like can you see that so it looks some kind of so tightly well on it so now this is exactly what it is so there are so many formatting you can do but right now i think we're going to like stop it right here right now and just go ahead and actually see okay now the next thing we're going to do right now is just for we to actually say the title we need to be changed and we'll go for the title and for the title uh service here is what we just want to use for service here so that is exactly what it is so we have to go back right now and actually go ahead and actually bring this here uh, over the service here when i actually make sure we're consistent with what we're consistent with our format and just go right here and actually have it right on this so now can you see that so we have this um we have just lost one of our formatting so we just have to go back and put back that particular uh detail label on so so we've lost this particular detail label right here so we just have to turn it up turn it down again so we just have to so the, the, the detail label is still on it the reason why we can't see it is that it changed the color for us so we just have to change the color to what we really wanted so i think we can actually go with this particular kind of color or we just want to make it some kind of more whiter than that so we want to use something like this it looks fine so nicely we have it so now we can you see this so we have what we call two tips so if we hover over it we want to know how many male and how many female in this particular uh five year range of like how many people are actually uh on service for five years ago we have 196 so i want to go down go back here and uh if i go back here right now we can see the tool tip right in here so i want to go right here and actually make sure i deselect this and now i can actually go for male and bring my male gender right on the tool tip so not the percentage expert so i'm gonna go ahead and actually say for my male i'm gonna bring it down to the tool tip level right here and for the female i'm gonna locate it and go locate for the female i'm gonna locate and actually bring it down here and i want to go back and actually bring due for promotion how many people are do do for promotion uh, uh on that particular aspect so do for promotion again uh, not do for promotion so i want to bring it to the tooltip level right here so and if we go back right now hover over it let's see what we have right now can you see that we have it been break, break broken down for us so now this is exactly what it is this is what we really want to see so you can see that service year five years if we go to people uh, that has spent 10 years is 120 84 to be male 36 to be female deal not deal to be what to be 120 uh, all of that so we have something like this nicely and we can go ahead and visualize that particular this particular aspect as well which is the service year all we just need to do is just to search for sorry a level job level so we just search for the job level right here and once we have gotten the job level the next thing we're going to do right now is for us to, for us to actually search the total so i'm going to put it on the total right here and once we go back right now we can actually see what we have and we can go back and visualize it the way it should be i think i want to go ahead and use something like this to get it visualized out of that so what you can do right now is just to make it some kind of bring it down so and make sure it's sit right on this particular aspect here so to actually apply the same formatting right here for it just go back and go to the top level right here and pick this particular formatting painter and stuff like that and have it here and we get every axis being remote for us but we might not be some kind of cool with the color we have on the chat if we want to actually extend um just extend our formatting out of that total employee by job level might be some kind of an ideal uh, you know um ideal header for us whatsoever okay right now i want to change the data color so i want to click on this and change and give it the kind of data color i really wanted so i'm going to click in right here so and actually go to more and actually paste in a code i have just copied somewhere and i'm gonna paste it right there i've just changed the data color to what i really wanted so if i go back right now this is what i have as my data color right in here can you see this right now this is beautiful and very awesome so can you let me just give it a full screen and let you see that what we have is actually making a lot of sense so now if i click on this right now like job level so we want to format this particular aspect right here let's see how we can actually get it formatted but before then we can actually now filter through uh, level one 
you can see what we have five four three is what we have to done playing level one and for level two when we check about what we have in level two we are actually you know filtering our dad our data in our report and stuff like that and it's working very very well guys if you are not too satiated on which one is y axis and which one is x axis keep turning this on and off you'll see watch here and see what it is so right now if i turn it off right now you can see this is off and all of that so this is why we have to actually touch and actually get to see what it is that we really wanted so all we just need to do is just to make sure we go right down and see where we have this particular size of our text size so we're going to turn the text size to something like um, nine now we have the text size to be text size to be nine and we have it till uh, some kind of ten Okay, we have the text size being changed and I don't know why it's wrong. I can go. Okay, if it is not working for us, let us just change the font family into something like, uh, I'm going to go down all the way down. I'm going to use something like this. So this particular uh, UI build, so I'm going to use it for it. So now I have that. What I really wanted is actually what it is. So right now I can actually go down right here as well. And make sure I click on this. So once it's been highlighted, I'm going to make sure I use the same thing, go down straight and actually use that for it. So it's going to make it pop out and all of that. So can you see that now? So now it's out. So we can see it better than before now. So now if I actually hover over this, uh, I don't have any tooltip right here. It's only giving me this. It's only this particular aspect we have tooltip. And if I click on this right now, it's just going to filter all other part of my dashboard. Can you see that now? It filtered down to the level of the data we have just clicked on all of that. So if I click on this as well, it's going to do the same thing right here and all that. So you, you can go ahead and add in tooltips right here and you'll be fine. So for this expert right here, the company want to retrain some workers from service and stuff like that. And we have our data to actually get to do what it is that we should do to actually get this particular kind of visualization done. And all we need to do right now is to head on back to Power uh, Query to get the level of retrenchment and people who are going to stay in the organization to keep working and people who are going to go and all that. So, and we're going to get that visualized right here. So now let us go back to Power Query to get things done. Okay, here we are at the right column to be used for that. And we always have numbers, right? So here at company. So the company want to go on retrenchment of that to retrench some people due to some one aspect or the other. Maybe things are not uh, forthcoming in the company and they want to actually remove, uh, reduce some kind of cost and stuff like that. So what can we do right now? So to help this. So what we need to do is what we had done before. Uh, we just have to go to add column and from add column, add under conditional column and see what it is that we can do. So the conditional column is just coming up. Uh, we can name the conditional column to be some kind of uh, retrenchment. That is a retrenchment status. So retrenchment status. So we go down and uh, we just have to select year at company. So go all the way down and look for year at company. So go back again and search for it. So until we get to where we have year at company. I'm so sorry for that please guys. So we can scroll through and uh, year at company. Here we have it. So make sure you select the right column. So is greater than or equal to 18. People who are spending 10 years needs to go. And uh, people who are spending above 18 years needs to go. So it's going to be some kind of retrenched, unretrenched. I'm going to use um, something like, I'm going to say on will be retrenched. I can just I can just use anything just to make sure it tells my story. We'll be retrenched. We'll be retrenched. So, so the the left number, the remaining number is gonna be on service. On service. So those people are still gonna stay on service. They're still gonna be working for us. But people at that particular that had spent like eighteen and above would definitely uh, be retrenched and stuff like that. So I cannot click on OK and I'm going to add my new column. It has just been added for me, guys. So we're just going to go back and actually go ahead and actually close and save uh, and actually go back and uh, close and save or whatever, cl close and load for sure. So I'm sorry for that. Uh, close and load. And uh, it's going to be loaded. So it's loading gradually down to our Power BI. So now we've just gotten it loaded right here. Guys, do you know we've not saved? What if something happened? So we just have to save this into our computer. So what we need to do right now, I'm gonna go to file and show you, I'm gonna show you how to save. And we need to click on save right here. So we kind of go ahead and save right now. 
and now he's not actually detecting any folder yet so i'm gonna go right to this particular uh, desktop and i'm gonna locate where i'm gonna save this into i have my power bi dashboard right here here's a folder we're gonna be using for a lot of power bi you know stuff like that you know i can actually go ahead and save this work right in this particular coastal hr data right here and right in here i'm gonna say youtube that is youtube YouTube lesson. So YouTube lesson, I'm gonna click on save. It's very simple to be saved, very simple and easy. So it's now saved. So guys, I told you, the same thing we had done right here and right here and here, here before is what we're gonna do. So behind the scene, I'm gonna do all this and get it visualized for you guys and you'll see what it is that I've done. <clears throat> right now, I've just gotten this created for you guys. So what we need to do right now is just to highlight this and this and actually copy paste it and actually bring it down right here i want to show you something that is very much important for you to actually get in about because we're going to be encountering a lot of errors like blank and stuff like that so you would definitely know how to get to you know work around that so if i actually click on this right now i want to change this to what to some kind of on service right on service so i'm going to click on service right here oh we can't do that so i'll likely just select this right here i'm going to click on service so when we click on service right now, we have it to be, to be some kind of blank. So we don't have, okay, the blank right here is going to be maybe uh, due to some kind of, we are not really, uh, maybe we don't have the correct, some kind of the correct um, of phrase, phrase or words for it right here. But we can actually go ahead and actually make sure, I'm going to expand it. Make sure this particular blank here is being turned into something else. Instead of blank, we want to see something else. So how do we do that? So I'm just going to go back ahead and actually go on where we have this on service right on here. So I'm going to make sure I have it zoomed into, let's just see. And before calculate, we're going to use if and is blank. So I'm going to say if, so I'm going to use this particular function again, it's called is blank. So if it is blank, so we have to say, if it is blank, so I'm going to copy this for now. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. If it is blank, copy this, and I'm going to close if it is blank right here, comma, what you need to give to me is zero. So you can actually use any custom you really want. So if it is blank, give me zero else what you're gonna give to me give me this uh, uh this whole thing that was why i have it copied and you can close it and hit enter and let's see what is gonna happen once we have this committed so it's taking a little while so let's just watch this right now and see what it is if the blank is some kind of uh, not error so now we have it we just have this problem because it is blank it gives us this so we have to check this out and see what it is but now we still have to go and verify if the blank is not as a result of error so we want to know so now what we need to do is just to hope on to what up onto the data what data view right here and i'm gonna go to my retrenchment patch here so on services oh my goodness we have on services and what we just used right there is actually on service. So we just have to go ahead and change it back to what on services right here. So I'm going to go right here and change it to services. So we go here and say else. So we got to add, uh, we just have to add S right here. On services, I'm going to hit enter. Unless what's going to happen right now, though we have solved that problem. I'm going to show, I've showed you, I've just shown you how to solve that problem. And you've just got to know what it is that you need to do once you encounter such a problem, right? So now, can you see that? So if I go ahead and expand it right now, we have this right here. So now we just have to control Z. I'm going to take it back to the right position. So once I've done that, I can now move this right here. I'm going to have to move this right here and expand it down to this end. So I'm going to have to move this right here and expand it to this end. Uh, so we just have to click on it and go to this particular format painter right here. I'm going to go to title. Uh, we go have to say on service. So these are the people that, that are going to be on service. So the next one, I see we have to get a percentage of people that are going to be on service right here as well. So to get a percentage right now, we just have to deselect this one. So we have to locate where we have created on service percent, uh, percentage. So here we have it. So we have it 92.0% people are going to be on that. So now we've just gotten this done right now. And this particular percentage we want to make sure is just uh, carrying this kind of color. I'm going to go right here and actually make sure I have it 
all of that. So I don't want anything that are just below this particular aspect to be overshadowing the top level right here. So that was why I did this. So I'm gonna hold on my control and control V, we paste it. I'm gonna move it down to this particular, uh, particular aspect right here. And now we just have to change the story. I'm gonna click on this and go forward, go to this um, retrenchment will be retrenched. So, oh, we just have the percentage right here. Uh, will be retrenched not the percentage but the value so here are the just these numbers of people will be retrenched so now we just have to go change the top header so i'm gonna say retrenched retrench retrench so i just want to create something like this right so retrench i think i'm cool so you understand this. So now we just have to put a percentage right here for the retrench. So we just have to select this and we'll be retrench percentage will be on it. And this is what we have. So right now it's very beautiful. So if you want to check in level one, how many people will be retrenched and how many people will be on service. So once you actually click on this right here, so it's gonna actually filter down to how many people is gonna be retrenched. So we have 0.6% of people that are gonna be retrenched on this particular level right here. Can you see that? And we have the percentage of the male and the female and all of that. So if you wanna go people who have spent five years ago, there are many of them. So none of them. So the same problem that we just encountered previously is still the same problem we just encountered right now. For the last time, I need to show you how to do this in a speedy way. Go back, we'll be retrenched. So because nobody is actually default to zero. So just for, first of all, to make it simple, copy from here down to this calculate aspect right here. Copy it down. After you might have copied, I'm gonna copy it so well. Make sure it's copied all. After you might have copied, you come right here and type if so hit your top key to have it closed uh, opened that is the open bracket i'm gonna say okay if is blank if it's blank so come down right here and close this close the first bracket hit on your comma so if it is blank what do you really want if it is blank if it is blank what you want is actually give me zero and if it is not blank so just give me all the form calculation we have right on it so i'm gonna hit enter right now so once i hit enter let us watch what's gonna happen right here so we're gonna have something like this Uh, it's taking a while just let it be so it's giving me 0.0 percent because we not there's nothing and the reason why we're having this zero uh, 100 without the percentage is because we have to extend it and all of that so can we see that so we have to extend this and make sure it covers so we have to do the precaution for this again in case we have a high percentage right here it's gonna it's gonna show up all of that so now this is what it is that we need to actually get an about so guys i hope you've learned something right on that so this is what it is beautifully when we actually you know filter through any of this particular aspect right here we get to see what it is that we are looking for so now you can do this go and do this for this particular deal for promotion and you have a very nice work i've shown you how to do this let this be your assignment so go ahead and do that and actually clear that out okay right on this visual right here what we need to do we need to check the distance from home to work like the distance from home to work how do we know that don't worry we have a data that's gonna actually take us to that so go and actually go back to what go back to transform data right here so we hit back on our pi query and here we are we have to look at the column that is actually carrying the distance from home to work right here so now let's check that i think we have this column taking that this time from home and out there so we just need to add a new calculate column and i'm going to show you something new right now on that particular aspect so add conditional column oh i said calculated column sorry guys conditional column is what i wanted to say so right now we have it so we're just going to say um this 10 status So for distance status right now, we just have to locate the column that is carrying distance from home. So here we go. So if it is what? Okay, now that we've gotten this column right here, so we're gonna say right now, if this particular operator right here, so if this distance is greater than or equal to 20, so 20. So what we're gonna do is there's gonna be some kind of, uh, we're gonna have to do this, okay, say, People that I are staying greater than 20 miles, I don't know how, how to actually explain this to you guys to understand. But don't worry, you understand what it is. So right now, I'm going to say very far. So they are staying very far from the organization or from the company. So whoever is rated 20 are living very far. Whoever is rated between 20 and above are very far from the office or the organization. So we're going to add a new clause right here. 
So I'm going to still use the same column again. So this time from home to the office. So now we're going to go back again and say equal or greater than what 10. So we're going to say, okay, they are some kind of mirror. So it's going to be some kind of close. So they are close. And now the rest people is going to be some kind of very close, very close. Can you get this right now? We just need to add this and we go back here and just add this. So once we've just added this right now, can we see that? So all you just need to do, go ahead and remove the column. You just have to go ahead and remove the color of the column. So right now we have to come right here and change the data type. So change the data type from here to what? Uh, to text because it's not right on text. We have to change it to text. So change this one to text as well else you might have a problem as time goes on on your report so make sure you change everything to text uh to text right here so you just have to change the data type to what to text data type right here so now we've done this so we have to hope back to what hope back to power bi and see how we can get this visualized it's very simple it's very easy i'm gonna create a very simple chart to actually get it visualized for us and now we're gonna have to go right here where the heck are we going okay is still actually committing itself right in here so we have to give it a little while so it's gonna load so that is exactly what it is so we can now go right here right now and actually select our width so we're gonna select distance just press the is so we see the distance status right here so we're gonna click on the distance status and we want to visualize the distance status by what by what the heck is going on okay i have you don't want to select any car before you do that so i'm going to deselect this and once I have this deselected, so we don't want to select any damn thing. So I have it selected and go back right here and actually click on it. Oh, this time from, I don't want to use this. I want to use the new created ones. I see I have my other column right here. I've not removed it. So you go ahead and remove it if you have it right there. So I'm going to move that particular distance right here. We have distance right in here right now. And I'm going to go for this particular type of, and I'm going to go right here. So can you just see it? We just have very close, close and very far. And I'm going to go right and select my total right on it. So total employee. So can you see that? This is what we have. So we can now go ahead and make sure we, we don't want to actually have anything being uh, filtered right now. I have to clear the half it that we have right on it so we can see it better. So now we have something like this. So I can actually go ahead and make sure I have it this way and go right here. I have something like this, this way, all that. So we just have to make sure we actually sit it right through here. Don't forget, don't, don't bother about how it covers. So because we're going to have to remove the, what, remove the, trans, the, the body, the background color from it. So now to have the background color removed and I can actually choose anyone right here and actually copy the formatting and have it for it. So let me just get, give it this formatting right here. And we're cool with this, but we cannot see most of our text. Don't worry, we can walk around with that and see what it is we can do to actually have it back. So come right here and go right to the label, data color. For now, we're gonna go for the label. And I wanna choose a color that is gonna show up on the label. I think we're gonna go for this particular color right here. We have it fine, nicely showing up. So for us, so we, we're beautiful, we go. So. So what if we want to have this particular one at the top level right here? What do we do? So we just have to go back to data legend. Go for legend and show the legend at the top. Can you see that? So we're showing the legend at the top right now. It's actually giving us the full view of this. And I want to turn off the title of the legend and we have it. So what if we want to actually show it at the top middle? We show top center, so we centralize it. So beautiful, we have something nicely like this. And we're not too cool with the color we have for this chart. So we want the color to be some kind of um, uh, correlate with our color on our dashboards. I'm gonna have to use this. Can you see that? So we change this color as well to something different. So we're gonna change this color. Then we're gonna have to change this color to something like, I'm gonna go for something like this. Uh, a little bit stand out so we have something like this so if i give you a full view of your dashboard right now so this is what we have just done nicely guys if you have watched this end you're a hero because you've just learned a lot about power bi right now power bi power query and stuff like that you know go smash the like button leave a comment hit the subscribe button if you've not done that and share this team with your friends on facebook and twitter any of your social media at all because it's gonna be getting very much interesting in the next video we're gonna have to create more 
awesome part of the dashboard i'm going to show you what it is that you need to actually know about the remaining dashboard and all of that and how simple how easy it is to use power bi if you want to know guys you just have to keep following me everywhere i go because i'm going to be giving you guys a lot a lot of things that you need to know about analytics using excel power bi and i'm coming with my sql tutorial don't worry guys it's going to get very much interesting so if you love this video don't forget to leave a comment thumbs up share to your friends as i had said earlier because i love to do amazing things design is my way and i love logic so if you love logic too if you love design you have to follow me anywhere i go so keep filtering through this data uh, you're going to see how awesome it is so to create this very awesome dashboard you know what it is you have to do is just to get a data set and actually follow along as i create from the scratch you would definitely understand what it is that we are trying uh, are try, are actually trying to get into so guys i see you i know i hope you see me too because i gotta go right now so stay blessed stay out of trouble and always obey the protocol of covid 19 because i don't want you to get ill